Eco reefs are inspired by beaver dams. There are a bunch of twigs and branches and and uh, uh, roots and and anything by bi- biodegradable that that cre- create a, a haven for uh, small animals, uh, crustaceans, and plant life uh, they, on 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 land as well as in the waterways. They just they, they just foster life, and they because they're so twisted. They, they they protect at the same time. So they're little nooks and crannies where little creatures can just sort of hide away and get on with life. Uh, it's they, that, That's their basis, the basis of an echo reef. So it, 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 it all starts with twigs and with twisted branches, and it's very, very simple. So uh, easily gain product. It's, it's available everywhere. But we have to weight them down so they don't... Uh, wash away every time the rain falls and 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 the and the floods come. So we we have to sort of connect them with rocks, and, and rocks in themselves are ideal uh, for for promoting life forms underneath them and protecting small life forms. So so they're great. Put them together, but now to actually tie those uh, is an issue because rocks tend to go every which way, and and they they need to be you know connected. Now. Uh, our first priority is to get uh, land reefs, and uh, we, we've uh, we, we've got methods of actually uh, creating uh, little sort of oases. They, but Daphne from Daphne's Corner is is constantly experimenting with these incredible cockadama systems, where they they root, they grow. And depending on the grasses in your own particular part of the the, the world, uh, you use the grasses and plants which which are highly resilient and can spread and protect the rivers up in the early parts of their life. And these uh, these echo reefs are completely biodegradable. At the end of the day, you're left with a bit of straw and some you know uh, sisal and everything that is that just goes into the ground and is good for the ground. It's good for the environment. So. Uh, these particular eco reefs are completely 100% biodegradable. There's nothing that remains at the end of the day except roots and rocks and plants and 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 what we really want out of an eco reef, which is to create life. You know, it's just brilliant. Uh, now the ropes that that put these things together, we need those. We have to have those. But to to hold our eco reefs together uh, is a real issue. And the best, the very best uh, binders that we could find, and funnily enough, are, are plentiful. Just normal plastic bottles, which are incredibly hardy, can last hundreds of years, and when, when they're melted down, are incredibly strong. Now, these hold our, our, our echo reefs together. The first uh, mainstay is, is uh, branches, twigs, held together with rocks so they sink by this incredibly strong plastic binder. Now, they are always in control. Echo reefs are always in control. They're always roped. And and in the ocean waterways, we can keep getting them back in again. But they promote life But because within them uh, are safety caves for breeding fish and plants and, uh, you know, protecting our uh, mangroves and our close in waterways so they are incredibly strong and hardy uh, they they start off very small and little ones for the aquarium uh, which you can use without ropes because they're protected and they then they, they then they, every which way the size the sizes are not important as long as you can get parts of the ropes and the rocks to get <coughs> together you can hold them with the same plastic bottles and they are incredibly strong and you can have them you know substantially large so that at the end of the day you've got these bigger echo reefs and smaller echo reefs which actually live with one another and you can build them into into one uh one reef uh literally one reef where where which which uh, promote uh, again, plant life and and protect our fish and 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 protect our animals and they're all within our, our control. And as you can see, they're much larger. They they start off hand size and they grow to to large, big items. And and put them together is when they're put together in in and they're jammed one into the other. They don't go anywhere because they've got rocks. They're roped 
and they they literally hold each other and grip together in the waterways uh, and and fish and plants and uh, are completely protected uh, mangroves are held uh, uh, away from you know debris that actually slices into them so that they can continue to grow and the echo reefs then become an item that virtually lasts until the crustaceans and everything grow over them and we come back to what we started with which is the baby beaver bridge uh, system they, they 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 are just protection and then we've got our floating floating echo reefs which are little little biospheres and uh, they connect with the the underwater uh, echo reefs uh, again using the same plastic waste products to float them and they protect our waterways our water's edges and promote growth and plant life and they are incredibly strong and and just keep on going just for as long as you want them they're always in control so uh, the 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 up from that we've got uh, you, you know uh, uh, double double strength floaters the the main ones have got double flotation in, in them so they stay up and hold and they uh, they're intended actually for for um, kelp um, ladders so the top one floats and holds at the top and we connect those with a number of other uh, echo reefs down the track some of them with floaters so that they've got uh, 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 assisted floating for the main floater and then down the bottom they've just got echo reefs where the branches and it will will uh, protect and hold kelp small kelp young young kelp young kelp and young plants so that they can grow above the bottom of the waterways so starfish can't get up and and, and attack them so it, all in all they're a little they are kelp bladders and you know, we we've got to bring back. We've we've we, we've we've ruined our waterways completely. There's no life in them. They, we we've, we Echo Reef will bring these back. Our our mission is to turn the rivers around the way they were, and it's one small Echo Reef at a time. We'll do it. Uh, you know, we've straightened our waterways. We've ruined our our, our floodplains because the silt just goes into the seas. But we can change them back. We can bring them back. We can meander the rivers through our valleys, and we can bring back the, the. And we can still promote agriculture in the best possible way. Eco Reef has got the answers. We've got the answers in our team, and we will do it. We 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 we're not just keen. We we will help whoever. If somebody has a better idea than we have, we will help them. We'll pr promote them. But at this stage, ours is the best. It is completely eco ecologically sustainable it's it promotes biodiversity it's got it promotes life it promotes uh, uh, the, the changing of the rivers we're cleaning our waterways it filters waterways and there is there is nothing really an eco reef cannot do to improve our the edges of our waterways inside our waterways and this from right up to the starts of our rivers where we can get we can get clean water at the top we can store certain areas by banking by, by building banks so please join us you know enjoy this come with us if you find a better way please let us know <clears throat> but meanwhile help us get the message out there anyone can use it anyone anywhere in the world it doesn't cost anybody anything waste products you can start today literally start today so please the echo reef project is there for everyone and it's for the people who need it most they really desperately need us now to get the plastics out of the out of the waterways and promote the life of the river together we can do it just you and us and everybody else around